And so this video begins in Plant City, Florida. Today is March 3rd, the first day of the Florida Strawberry Festival 2022. I have a tradition. This will be my fourth year in a row coming out here and vlogging the Florida Strawberry Festival on its opening day. This time I'm starting a little later. The sun's about to set. It's almost 5 p.m. And also something different. You're with me. I'm with you. Yeah. It's good to see you again. I missed you while I was up in Atlanta. I know. I missed you while I was down here in Florida. I mean, we've already told each other that, but I'm telling them yeah. that I missed you. Right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Are you ready for the Strawberry Festival? I am so ready, yeah. I haven't been here since I was a wee little gal, so well, I'm ready. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank and you. welcome back to the channel. And welcome if it's your first time, thank you. And we have made it to the first day of the Strawberry Festival. Today is also Senior Citizen Day. The tickets are $10, but we paid $9 last night because we bought them at my local Publix yep. for a discount. So if you're coming to the Strawberry Festival, pick up the tickets at Publix for a little discount. Hey, every buck counts. Yep. You're able to get more food, perhaps more strawberries with those extra bucks. Exactly. We're going to get more strawberries today. We're going to have strawberries today. Like these strawberries up here and here at gate one, going this way. And right inside the main gate, we are tempted already with Brandon Farms homemade strawberry milkshakes, strawberry pizza. What else do they have over here, strawberry? Jam. Strawberry jam. Oh, yeah. Definitely can get your strawberry on. I think we're gonna have strawberry shortcake first, but definitely I'm gonna keep this uh, in mind. You can get a whole pizza for 30 bucks or a slice of this right here for five bucks. Strawberry pizza. I love pizza, I love strawberries. And I've noticed something brand new out here at the Florida Strawberry Festival. Last year, this was like the log and chainsaw competition stadium area. This year, there's something called Canines in Flight by airmutts.com starts at noon two and four we missed the last one but right over here i'll show you the stadium area in case you uh make it out here and you want to check out the show it looks like a little doggy show and this little doggy he's got a frisbee that's cute <laughs> and here's where they obviously have the dog shows too bad we missed it i would really like to see this it's probably cute probably a lot of uh doggies around here like my little beagle bella Noticing that's a big pool in the back there. Oh, a doggy pool. Oh, yeah, good observation, Chris the girl. It's actually a splash zone. It looks like they jump off here and they try to see how far they can get. I heard a bell over there. Yeah, it was over in that direction. Don't know what that was. And also, another tradition out here at the Strawberry Festival of mine is always entering to win a brand new Corvette Stingray right here at the Stingray Chevrolet raffle. All of the money, all the proceeds go to a charity. And if I win, if they draw my ticket, $5 each, I will get a Corvette, not this one. I'll show you the one in a second. This is, I like this color though. But if I win, I don't have to pay the taxes. I don't have to pay the tag. No extra fees. It is 100% my car. So I always come out here and I try to win. I obviously haven't won yet or I'd be vlogging in something like this. Okay, five bucks a ticket. I bought five tickets. I put my information on it. They will draw on the last day of the Strawberry Festival and I do not have to be present to win. So I hope I win. Oh, she will be mine. She will be. You're going to win? Oh, you already got that one. Okay. This is a 2022 C8 mid-engine Corvette. I, I want to take it for a test run before I win. Just a, just a test run. And as you can see, there's other Chevys out here on display from Stingray Chevrolet, Plant City's local Chevy dealership right here. All of the late models. Even vans and giant Silverados. 5500 Duramax even. There's some big trucks. And we're just kind of making our way. We've got some amusements over here, some rides, which I plan on riding something tonight. I remember last year I had some alligator food over here. I'm gonna have some food, maybe not some alligator, definitely strawberries. But for now, we're heading into the neighborhood village right over here to see what's going on. You wanna go in there? Oh yeah. Let's check it out. Here we go. I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. what is it? All right. It's a giant room full of crafts. crafts. And it's a room full of arts and crafts. 
check it out. A lot of things going on in here. Woodworking over here on this wall. Looks like it's a competition. Oh, I see some blue ribbons. And I have found the baking competition display in here. Actual baked goods. Look at this, you've got PB and J bars by a Stephanie there. Right below there you've got uh, chocolate peanut butter cookies. Those look good. Obviously we can't smell them through the plexiglass. Ooh, peanut butter cookies. There's all kinds of desserts in here. Of the award winning kind. What's that? Brown butter strudel cake. Ooh, and of course in the center room there's all kinds of things in here. You can see the quilts back here. But they have the horticulture show. Check it out. This is right up Chris the Grill's alley. Check this out. It's a Tampa Bay Rays Florida Strawberry Man. Rays up. He's got the finger. That's you if you were a cookie. That's me. And a strawberry. That's me as a cookie and a, yeah. and a strawberry. <laughs> and she just saw it. That was that. I got her reaction. <laughs> yeah. Legit reaction. I'm so excited. The plant girl. Yay. I'm so okay, since you're the expert. Can you just point a, a few of these out right here on frame? Well, all of these are acleonemas. Ooh, that's a fancy word. Here are different ones. Okay. They're all like different kinds. There's a um, monstera. Monstera. There, or a Swiss cheese plant. Swiss cheese. Oh, I get see. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's cool. Um, oh, that's a Birkin. A Birkin. This one right here. Right there. Oh, it does wow, say Birkin. That's a really you know good your one plants. Too. Yeah. I love wow. that. That's amazing. I love horticulture. I love agriculture, but uh -huh. very cool. I have all these kinds of uh, things out here. And you got your plants. That's My question is, is how do I enter these things? I need to Oh, yeah. Now you know for next year. Yeah. Okay. So you do that, and next year I'll do the, the quilts. I'll just use my great-grandmother's quilt. And check it out. Dumbo all the way from Magic Kingdom. Oh, this is always fun to see out here. It's actually called Dumbo. Look at that. Over here by the kitty ride section. All right, this is a brand new ride to the Strawberry Festival. I don't remember this last year. And also, it just looks new. Raptor Run. That was pretty awesome. I would definitely ride that. It's pretty smooth, not too bad. It's, a, it's more of a children's ride. And this area, always displaying tractors and a strawberry field. However, this is not always here. Let freedom ring, an actual bell. Can I ring that? I think I, I think I can ring this. Wow, I just got everyone's attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let freedom ring. Oh, that's fun, that actually hurt though. Yeah. And when I was a kid, a little boy growing up in Indiana in the rural farm areas of Indiana, I love tractors and I have a lot of toy tractors, miniature tractors, and I, I've showed a couple of them before on the channel, but point being is I always love seeing these classic tractors, the John Deere's, the International Harvesters, very cool, this is cool, a turbo. This is a, let's check it out. A Sam Aston III is the owner. It's an International Harvester 1066. Uh, original price, $21,000. It is a 1976. In great shape. It's a beautiful tractor. And if you ever wondered what strawberry fields look like, they look just like this. Around Plant City, miles and miles of fields. Just like this. This is a strawberry plant. Right there. Check it out. Little strawberry. Oh man. Okay, I'm beyond hungry. I know I said I'm gonna get some strawberries, but very soon. Very soon. Very soon? Very soon, yes. You caught my pun. No, you you did it. That was good. <laughs> and always in the same place, the pineapple whip. Kind of like a dole whip, but also the pineapple and strawberry whip. Mr. Strawberry Pina Colada over here. He's got the good stuff in hand. Not only do they have Dole Whips here, they have the strawberry whip, the orange whip, or the orange dream, and root beer floats. And look, check it out. They blend it up right here. Look, look, look at that. This cute little strawberry hut. You look so gorgeous. Daiquiris. Okay, next to the lost and found caboose, Inside of the Ray and Helen Park main exhibit hall we go. In there, and it looks like the TCFFA, the local high schools, all of the local high schools 
have exhibits in here for their FFAs. Check it out, Future Farmers of America. This one is a cool display. It's got a little Ferris wheel with planters in it. Yeah, I know, Chris is like loving this. And the little cute strawberries, and look, the strawberry plants. Did you know strawberries are the first fruit to ripen after winter? Oh, that makes sense. This is always in the winter, so there you go. FFA, Turkey Creek Middle School. I passed by there today, actually. I know exactly what I mean. And here it is, folks, put on by the St. Clement Catholic Church every year here at the Strawberry Festival. Get in line and get your shortcake, only five bucks. This is where I always get it, right here. And this is a cool experience, because you can do it yourself. And last year, they weren't letting you do it yourself because of the situation, but it looks like it's back. Right here, this is so adorable. This is so classic and iconic. Hi there, neon ticket sign, that's classic. We'll take uh, two, please. Two. All right, $10. All right, and you just get your change here. Thank you so much, and your ticket. All right, two tickets. All right, this way. Oh, okay, so we have to put our hand in here. Okay, oh, okay, wrong hand. Okay, one, both hands. Okay, and then you gotta do both hands like that and we do you can do biscuit or you can do uh, Shortcake, I think I want to do shortcake thank you, thank you so much look at this and here is the goods Right here do it yourself. It's gonna be hard to do with gloves on and a camera. Okay, I loaded that up It's hard to film that but now it's time for the whipped cream, look at that. It's huge. That's a lot of whipped cream. Okay, it's done. And finally, the last part of it, the strawberry. Thank you so much, appreciate it. This is so classic. And it's not the last thing that happens. I always enjoy getting my sticker. All right, where All can right. I put it? Uh, right here. Right there? Yeah, that's good. All right. Thank you. And here comes Chris. Don't forget your sticker. You get a sticker right there documenting this. Oh, I like her police t-shirt. Now, I loaded up with strawberries and whipped cream. Now, you were saying, and I should have gave you a tip because check out her bowl. She, she didn't put that many strawberries. I didn't put too many of the of the That's my bad. I should have told you that. But I got strawberries in there. I got plenty of it. Yeah. You want to try it? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Mmm. Did you get the biscuit? Oh, it's so oh, good. Oh, no, I got the angel food. I got the angel food, too. Yeah, that's really, really good. I would recommend the angel food for an angel. I knew what you did there. <laughs> All right. There's a couple other things I want to show you in here. Just like these strawberry onions. Oh, my gosh, these are so cool. These are in season right now. Also in Plant City, fresh strawberry onions and next to the strawberry onions you have strawberries of course picked this morning look at that you can take these home with you as well they are three dollars for a quart a half for 10 half of these for 10 and the full thing for 20 right there oh. Chris and I are going to get a photo here at this photo opportunity, this strawberry. <laughs> Too small. I guess it was a screenshot. Yeah. There you go. There's a screenshot. So I came over to the stadium to show you that they have concerts out here every year and they also have a ton of headliners. Some big names this year, as they always do. They've got the Oak Ridge Boys tonight, Lady A. Tomorrow night, the Beach Boys. I've seen the Beach Boys before. Uh, Boys to Men, Home Free, Lauren Daigle. Just to name a few, I can't name them all. But here's one of the biggest ones. Sammy Hagar in the circle. Van Hagar. Van Halen, that's awesome. Also, Zach Williams, Lee Greenwood, Jake Owen, and Nelly. It's windy out here. Look at that, Nelly. 
to name some few. Oh, Tesla's out here as well. I would love to see Tesla. And the sun has set and the neon is firing up. Check this out. Candy apples and popcorn. Look at the popcorn on that. That's a nice display there. It's popping. And walking directly underneath the bleachers, there's a cool looking uh, vendor over here, a little booth. And as the plane is flying above us, the hog logs are wearing their bows. Oh look, it looks like Florida State and some, uh, oh, we got some Florida Gators represented on these hog logs. I was looking at that one. This one. That one? That's amazing. I was like, that one. Yeah. Let me see. All right. It's kind of tiny, like a my, tinier one. My gift to you. It's for you. And that is adorable. You got earrings and a earrings. yellow bow. I have bow. Yellow yeah. is your favorite color. So I see why you chose that. Yeah. It's very pretty. Hog log. It's always cool to see the bad boy mowers out here. This company, which mascot is the bulldog, they always have mowers out at Bush Gardens. I've always noticed that. Bad boy mowers. That's a giant dog, isn't it? Look at that huge dog. If hey, can you stand over there and put it in perspective? Thank you. It's huge. <laughs> You're like the Vanna White of the Strawberry Festival. Yes. All right, it's time to see some rabbits and some chickens. It's the rabbit and poultry show right here in this building. All right, just gonna sweep my camera over so you can see how large this building is. Look at all these chickens and roosters. This is a huge barn. And over there they have, oh, someone heard us. And over there they have plants. So we're gonna check these out. All right, fellas, who's gonna win? I don't think they've voted yet. Hey, fella, Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Oh, I like you. I like this one. This is a Dutch, Dutch breed. Check it out. Okay, this one reminds me of the uh, Cadbury. Yes. Definitely. The Cadbury rabbit. Yeah. It's a New Zealand breed. He's big. He's huge. He's bigger. He's as big as Bella. Yes. Yeah, oh, he heard me. It's a big bunny. It's not hard to hear me with those huge ears. Yeah. Now in the livestock arena, a little show going on here. Got some hogs. Are you going to enter that in the competition? I was going to ask, should I, should I just hop down there and be the like, hog okay, log. I'm ready. I don't, I don't know how well she'll do. She'll definitely win the beauty contest. She would win the beauty contest. Yeah. Look at her. She is beauty and she is great. Okay. Yeah, she is too. And over here by the double Ferris wheel is one of the ticket booths. And it looks like a single ticket is a dollar or a sheet of 20, of course, for 20 bucks. Do the math. And of course, they have the $25 armband, unlimited rides. I'm not gonna do that tonight because I'm not gonna ride too many rides. I'll probably just get a couple tickets to do maybe one or two rides. And I got 10 tickets. I'm not sure what this is going to allow us to do, but we'll see. We might have to buy some more. Check out the bees. Those are adorable. Kind of like Dumbo, but a little smaller. And check it out. Just a few weeks ago, I rode the zipper. It might be the same one. It could be the same one, but I rode the zipper with Jacob the Carpetbagger and Oh my gosh, the next morning, I was so sore. This thing is fun, but man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give thee the haunted mansion. There must be some kind of copywritten claim out there somewhere, maybe, but not here at the Strawberry Festival. I love the dark rides. I love the spooky stuff. And it's the haunted mansion. We'll get it close in a second. We're gonna, you want to ride this? Yeah, I do. Since you're an ex cast member, I used to work at the haunted mansion. You did this one. This this, this one thinks it was the Disney one. Oh, it was this one. So you can give us the rundown as we're going inside. Exactly. Okay. Check out the zombie over here, coming out of the ground. This reminds me of House a little bit. Just the artwork, that kind of style. The old horror movie House, classic. All right, it's time to. Ride the Haunted Mansion. Four tickets. All right. Are you going to get in the back? Yeah, I'll get in the back. Okay. Now we walked in the back. She can sit on that side. She can front sit on this all side. All right. I got the front row. Here, Here we go. go. Okay. We, I just It just dawned on me. Yeah. We haven't actually been to the... Here it goes. Oh, here we go. We haven't actually been to the real Haunted Mansion yet. Never thought we would do this one first. 
Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh. Ah! Oh! 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 Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah! Look at that guy. That's gruesome. I like this one. Whoa! Watch out! That was that was a good one. That, that actually got me. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's a coffin. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yes. And I think we're all we're coming around the fourth turn. What was that? Zombie! And I think that's it. This is the main door. And we did it. All right. Wasn't bad. That was fun. That was worth four tickets. Check out these ladies. Ah. And over in this part of the fairgrounds, not too many people. Not too many at all. You got my two of my favorites right here. You got the Tilt-A-Whirl, and you've got like the Graviton, Gravitron ride. This one's called Alien Abduction. But yeah, not too many people over here. Tilt-A-Whirl, Thunder Road. You ever see the Explorers? Old 80s movie? Ethan Hawke? I don't think so. No? Also, River, River Phoenix is in that too, a young River Phoenix. Thunder Road. We gotta watch that sometime. Yeah. It's a classic. On the, on the list. Thunder Road! Okay, so here we are at the ski ball. Chris said she wanted this Pennywise here, so I'm gonna try to win it for her. Oh, clowns. Did I mention I don't like clowns? I have a clown phobia since I was a kid, and it's all its fault. So right here is the ski ball. Five balls for two. 180 wins choice. One prize per day per person. And let's see, so I've gotta get 180 points right here with ski ball. All right, you think I can do it? I know you can. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Yeah. All right, so I got three games for $5. Each uh -huh. of these are a game, each of these are five balls, so I got 15 tries. All right. Okay, I believe in you. Okay. 180 points. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Alrighty. You got it. Ooh, 10 points. That's good. That's good. Oh, nicely done. 40 points. Okay. Alright. Halfway there. No. Yeah, less than halfway. But still, good, good. Oh, very close to 50, but still points. Ah. It's impossible. <laughs> I got two more games though. Let's see if I can redeem this. Oh, good job. Yep, 140. Oh, so okay. Close, so close. Oh, so close. Real good, good. No, that's all right. That's fine. You did so well, though. How much can I buy that thing for? You, you did better than I would have, for sure. So I appreciate that you tried. Thank you. I don't know how I did worse the last game. I did great the first one. I got what? One forty. One forty. And then the second one I got 130, one, 130 and then I got uh, less than 100. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like 70. Yeah. But you tried, and that is all that matters, and I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I did try. I really tried. 
Okay, so I'm gonna ride one more ride. I'm gonna ride this coaster. I ride it every year. It's fun. It's only five tickets. Now, if you're doing your math, I only have two tickets left, or had two tickets left, but I purchased three more. So I'm still underneath the 25 wristband, so I still made out pretty well. Chris, the girl, waving me on over there. All right, I'm about to get on right here. I believe this one will be my car. Oh, oh yeah, ooh. Go a little faster than I thought. This is great. Check it out, you can see a lot of stuff up here. Look at that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hold on to my hat. Nice view up here. Little roller coaster POV. Hang on, oh! Oh my gosh. You can see the whole strawberry festival up here. This is actually a smooth ride. Smoother than the coaster I rode with Jen. Ah! Another little corkscrew. I think we might have one more drop. Oh, we're going really fast right now. This is the fastest we've gone. Nice little drop. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was smooth. Yeah! Woo! Check it out. Portillo's Hot Dogs is out here. The iconic Chicago hot dogs. Portillo's every day? Every day. The whole 13 days. Wow. I might have to give me a hot dog out here. Here you got the peppers, the onion, the tomato, the pickle, and the mustard. And like the uh, sesame seeds. I think those are sesame seeds. Poppy seeds? Poppy seeds, thank you. Good? That's excellent. Good. It's a good dog. Oh. And we're back inside the Parksdale Pavilion because Chris wanted to uh, buy a plant, actually a strawberry plant, here at Parksdale Garden. You can grow your own strawberries. Look at that, twelve ninety nine. Gotta pick the right one. Gotta pick the right berry plant. Look at this one. This one looks good. Thankfully, my girlfriend has like green thumb. I'm more of a little pot of horrors. Venus flytrap kind of guy. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. What do you think? That's the one? This is the one. That's the one. This is the one. Yeah. It's not too big so we can still like watch it grow. It's got a lot of really pretty blooms on it. Some strawberries. The baby strawberry. Coming in there so we can watch them grow. Yeah, this is... I'll tell you what, it's a good environment for them. Yeah. Well, apparently so. In this county alone, millions and millions of strawberries yeah. each year. So now we can start our own. All right. I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> Hot Wisconsin cheddar nuggets and mozzarella fingers. This is where you're going to eat, right? Oh, yeah. I had my heart set on this from the minute I You laid. saw it. Yeah, when we first got here, you're like, I'm getting that. Chris went with the mozzarella fingers yeah. with the pizza sauce. Very saucy. Yeah. Which ones are the mozzarella fingers and which ones are my fingers? Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Hmm. Let's ask uh, the log hog. Have we named her yet? I have not. No, I haven't. I have to. Motsy? Aww. Motsy. I like that, actually. <laughs> what do you think? It was good. Yeah. Mozzarella, sir. Yep. Love anything fried and I love anything cheese, so. Did you ever get the mozzarella sticks at Applebee's? Uh, more than likely. Are those good? Yeah, really good. Oh no, we missed the magic show. It's alright. Did you know I'm a magician? Are you? Yeah, hold on, I'll show you a trick. Alright, step right up and see the amazing Jay Feeney. Are you ready for this magic trick show? Yes, I'm it's, a ready. Show. it's a quick show, it's a quick show. Alright, here we go. Here's a little bit of magic. Watch this hand. Watch this finger. I'm gonna put it back on. Actually, no, I'm gonna cut it off like that. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. Yay! Was that it? Yay! That's it. Good job. The great Jay Feeney. <laughs> great job. All right, I think we're heading out. Yep. So if you enjoyed the video, Give it one of those right Give down there. One of those. I can't do it because I'm, I'm up. full of strawberries and, got all, we got all and my, kinds of stuff. my log hog. So we'll give it right. a thumbs up. <laughs> Did you have a good time tonight? I had an amazing time. Did I had you? a great time with you. It was one of the best times ever. I love this uh, 
this fair, the Strawberry Festival, the Florida Strawberry Festival, coming out here every year. So very special to me. It's a tradition, and to be able to share my traditions with you, it's it's great. It's what I've always wanted. So thank you for coming with me and making my day, making my evening here at the Strawberry Festival. And also thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoy our experience. If you want to come out here yourself, there's like music like started up right there. If you want to come to the Strawberry Festival yourself, it is going on for the next 10 days. Well, nine now to the 13th. I'll put a link to the website in the description below. And also, on the last day, it will be drawing, you know, the Stingray, the yep. Corvette, which is right over here. And if I win, obviously, I will, I will document that experience. So, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It's another strawberry over there. Yep. Pretty cool. They're everywhere. It's like it's a They're strawberry everywhere. festival or something. They're following us. All right, guys. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And know there's much ahead. Make sure you check out Chris the Girl's video and subscribe to her channel because she's amazing and she's my girlfriend. Oh, oh, clown. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna die, clown. And we never got the strawberry pizza, but. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. No strawberry pizza? Next time. Next time. Okay. Next year. Next year. I'm still filming you. Oh, you are? I was about to tell my strawberry story. Strawberry ice cream story. Okay. Okay. So, when I was like five years old, like pretty young here, um, I was on a field trip with my church and we all stopped and we got ice cream. And at that point I already kind of knew I didn't really like ice cream. I wasn't able to finish a lot of ice cream, but I thought maybe strawberry ice cream would be safe. So I got a cone of strawberry ice cream. We all got back on the bus and I tried to finish it, but I couldn't finish it. And basically long story short, it started melting and dripping oh, all no. over my hand. And I started crying oh, no. because I couldn't finish my ice cream. I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't throw it away even because I was on a bus. <laughs> and um, it Poor was thing. very traumatizing. And I can never eat strawberry ice cream again. Oh no. So, so. never buy you strawberry ice cream. Yeah. That's traumatizing. I'm yeah. sorry. No strawberry ice cream, Neapolitan ice cream. Oh. I just, I can't, I just can't do it. So. <laughs> well, that's like me and, uh, Deviled eggs. Oh yeah. Those traumatized me when I was a kid. Um, Can't remember why, but okay. anytime I smell deviled eggs, like that, it's it's a stinky smell. It is. Yeah. It's like oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So I get you. Okay. No strawberry ice cream. And no deviled, no eggs, deviled eggs in our casa. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> that was a good story at the end. <laughs> and next time we'll get strawberry pizza. Yeah. Because we said we were. Maybe, possibly, we but did, yeah. we got full. Yeah, we got so much other stuff, so much other strawberry yeah. stuff. So next time, we got plenty. Next time. Next time. Yeah. All right, finally Bye. ending it. Yeah. Bye. All right, Bye. See you. There's much ahead, everyone. Much, much strawberry ahead. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Strawberry ahead. Oh, okay. There. Yep. Yep. Here. Bye. Here. Here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.